Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel and installment 2 of Grand Theft Soda Can. My entitled nephew stole from me one time too many. This time I got them arrested and now my sister and brother-in-law have to deal with the fallout and I really don't care anymore. Please sit back, relax and enjoy. In a prior post in a different subreddit, I asked if I was the bad guy for wanting to call police on my nephews for stealing from me, and the overwhelming support I got made me realise that standing my ground was the best thing for me to do. About midway last week, when I came home from work, I noticed my shed door was open, and the padlock that I used to keep it shut was broken, and I had a lot of bags full of soda cans in there. I and my friends tend to drink a lot of soda, so I've built up a lot of cans over the course of about a year, and I was going to cash them in at the bottle drop soon because I like big payouts. It's ten cents a can where I live after all. But there was more than just my bags of cans missing from the shed too. They took my gardening shears, a steel rake, two shovels, one of them being those folding camping ones, and a full two-gallon gas can a cheap power drill I got for like $5 used, an electric hedge trimmer, and a small electric chainsaw that was also used, and a machete. They didn't touch the lawnmower, weed whacker, extension cords, or the old radio I had in there. No idea why they took what they did, but I guess they figured they could resell them or something. I checked my camera footage, and there were my three nephews, ages 16, 15, and 14 breaking into my shed with one of their dad's large claw hammers. I recognise the hammer because it's bright yellow and black, and their dad has a bunch of them. It only took them a few hits to smash that cheap lock. After they first broke into my shed, they took what they could by hand, and then they came back with some shopping carts that I'm guessing they also stole. But it took them a few trips to get all of the cans, and they didn't bother to even try and close the door when they were done. My sister and brother-in-law first denied their kids stole anything from me, so I went to their house and showed them the security footage from my cameras. I'd not told them I had cameras installed, and the reason I had the cameras put in was because of prior thefts from my nephews. It started with food and snacks and moved to DVDs and video games, then pretty much anything they thought they could smuggle out after that, and any time I made them return stuff they'd stolen from me. I was treated like the bad guy, and then got the fakest apologies I've ever heard. And they never got much trouble from their parents either. The final straw happened last year, when my nephews broke into my house and stole three six-packs of my favourite blood orange beer from my fridge. They used my hidden spare key to get in, and also took a huge dump in one of my bathrooms, and not only didn't flush, but also peed all over the floor. And I'm pretty sure it was intentional. The beer they stole was hidden in one of their bedrooms when I confronted my sister and brother-in-law about my nephew stealing it, and I was basically given an equivalent to boys will be boys when I wanted them punished. So I had the cameras put in and told no one, which was a smart move. When my sister and brother-in-law saw the camera footage of my nephew stealing from me, they seemed furious, but they were actually madder that their boys skipped school to steal from me. They spent all day making repeated trips to the bottle drop and cashing the cans by machine. The bottle drop also pays by machine. So they just kept bringing the cans till they cashed them all, and then they bought video games and junk food with the money. Said money actually amounted to nearly $200. With that and the destroyed padlock, I told my sister and brother-in-law that they now owed me $200. My sister and brother-in-law went from being angry at their kids to making excuses for them, and then being angry at me for wanting that money back when I know they have three kids and a mortgage. I said it was either that or I go to the police and press charges. They told me to get out, and I said they have two days to decide how to pay me back before I go to the cops. I got back everything else my nephew stole, machete and gas can included, though they'd already used the gas for something. But over the next couple of days, my sister and brother-in-law were blowing up my phone with a ton of messages, both verbal and text. At first, they were calling me heartless because it was right after the holidays and they have three kids and a mortgage, 
Then they started gaslighting me. Then even threatening me. And all of this would go in a repeating cycle. My nephews chimed in from another cell phone and were sending me lots of messages of their own, which were more fake apologies and gaslighting. My eldest nephew even sent me a picture of himself holding a soda can and giving me the middle finger. So I guess they weren't taking my threats of going to the police seriously, because family. When I last spoke with my sister and brother-in-law, they refused to negotiate any sort of method of repayment for what my nephews did, even when I suggested that they just sell the video games that were purchased with the money from the cans. Then they had the audacity to say I'd actually tempted my nephews by having the cans in my shed to begin with. Oh yes, I'm the devil snake that tempted my nephews with a shed full of cans that just screamed, Money, money, money! So that was it. I went to the police station that morning and filed the report. Gave them a copy of the video footage of my nephew stealing from my shed. I gave them the broken lock they smashed. Showed them all of the texts which were screenshotted and also given as evidence. Hell, I even gave them a copy of the photo of my eldest nephew sent me with him flipping me off. I did tell the police I found it worrisome that my nephews had taken the machete, but they classified it as a tool, especially since they took a lot of other actual tools. So fair enough on that, I suppose. But my nephews were indeed arrested on Saturday. Police came to their house and my sister and brother-in-law were forced to let them in because they had a warrant. Apparently, all three of my nephews went from being cocky little crappers to crying like babies when they were being put in cuffs. I know this because a neighbour I'm acquainted with that sort of friends with my sister was there to see it. And shortly after the arrest, my sister and brother-in-law were blowing up my phone again. They weren't able to get their kids out of jail till Monday morning, and now the boys are being charged with larceny, willful destruction of property and vandalism and harassment. The police took this whole case pretty seriously, as there has been complaints about my nephews for some time. But nothing was proven until now. The past few months, bags of cans have actually been going missing all over the area. Don't know if it was my nephews or not, but they're likely suspects. And with word spreading of their arrest, let's hope other neighbours with security cameras come forward with more footage. My sister and brother-in-law showed up at my house too. I refused to open the door and told them that this all happened because they are enablers who refused to hold their kids accountable for their actions. That made them just scream and pound on my door more until I threatened to call police on them too. And since I'd done it already, they know I mean it now. So they left without any more trouble. But they went back to blowing up my phone. I didn't block my sister or brother-in-law. Instead, I decided to save all of the messages they send me because I've made the decision to take them to small claims court over this. I don't really need or want the money and have already replaced the destroyed padlock with a much better one. However, the kids aren't the only ones who need to be taught a lesson. In the end, I hope to put them in enough of a hole that they learn not to screw with me ever again. I also have the full support of my family on this, my parents, aunts, uncles, cousins, etc. They're all supporting me in this because my nephews have stolen from them too. And after banning my nephews from my house, some of them did the same. I'm going to push for my nephews to get community service. And the reason why isn't just because it's a good idea, but also because I know that they'll hate that the most. Whenever made to do any kind of work they don't want to do, they just stand around griping and act like the whole world is against them. So hardly anything ever gets done. Perhaps a few hundred hours of unpaid work will teach them some manners. They've been spoiled far too much. Well, friends, I certainly realise that this post is pretty much just embellishing the last one. I'm starting to wonder though, just a few things he said is maybe he is being a bit of an a-hole. Let me know if you agree with me on that. Anyway, till the next one, and next time. So long, farewell, pip pip cheerio, much love, and bye.